Hey guys, this is Pia speaking. Just uh, thought I'd share some thoughts with you today uh, as we go through this painting. I've, it's probably my third or fourth uh, painting now, and usually what I do is record it to music, but today I just want to share some thoughts with you. And, uh, you know, I've been an artist since, uh, well, I guess professionally. I graduated in 2005, but I pretty much knew all my life this is what I wanted to do. And, you know, I wanted to talk a little bit about you know, the life of an artist, things like that. And I feel like, you know, what I'm about to talk about is probably more for you if you're still, let's say, in high school or considering a career change and, you know, wondering if art, the arts it might be it, the commercial artist anyway. Um, and, you know, I just wanted to give you some of my thoughts because it's a very contentious subject and, you know, a lot of different opinions. And, and the funny thing about being an artist is that when I be an artist, you you have all these different opinions from everybody. Suddenly everyone's an expert, your parents, all your relatives, all your friends, etc. And, uh, you know, I just want to at least share my thoughts. And I can't say I profess to be the, uh, the know-it-all or the authority or anything like that. I can only share with you my own experiences and my own thoughts and things like that. So hopefully this will make sense to some of you. Some of you might think, it's totally full of it, and that's totally fine. You know, I'm not here to convince anyone. I'm here simply to share my own thoughts. Now, um, one thing I've always noticed, um, last couple of years, I guess more so, is you see on the internet all the time, especially with ever since you know 2008 and the job market crash and everyone going back to school and all the talk about. Um, student debt crisis and, and college is being, quote, diploma mills, etc. And you see tons of articles online about how, you know, the top five most useful majors and top five most useless majors. And, and you know, almost all the time, the top five useless majors, the arts it tends to top those. If not the number one, then probably at least the top three, but they're always on that list. And, you know, to me, that just... That really grates on me, but, um, you know, so I want to share a little bit about that. Again, especially if you're in high school and maybe you've already talked to your parents about becoming an art, going to art school, et cetera. And, you know, some might be supportive, some might not be. Um, so um, I can say this, though. If you, I'll tell you this right now. If you're questioning whether or not you want to be an artist, you're questioning, maybe it's for you, maybe it's not, I, you're not sure. And especially if you're one of those people who says, I don't know what I want to do with my life, maybe I should just become an artist, you know, go to art school. I'm just going to tell you straight up right now, don't. Just don't do it, really. Um, if there's any question at all, if not, this is something you want to do, then I'm going to tell you right now, it's not for you. The people who I believe really should consider going to art school are those who have known since they were young, or know, or at least in the last couple of years, that this is what they wanted to do. And, you know, the longer you know it, the better. But the point being is that maybe you just discovered it, but if it's an obsession, if you have to have it, if nothing else will do, you know, if it rocks your world and you can't think of doing anything else, then I believe you definitely, definitely need to consider it. If you can do anything else in this world, anything, any other profession, then go do that first. But again, if arts is the only thing you can do, imagine doing, then you got to do it, in my opinion. So uh, what about all these articles you see about, you know, how being an artist is, you know, one of the biggest waste of, of money and resources ever. And, you know, you're always going to be dead for the rest of your life, this and that and the other thing. Well, the reason why you see all these articles is, quite frankly, you see, you know, these people who write these articles, they're, quote, career coaches, etc., all these experts in the field of education and whatnot. And, and one thing I firmly believe is that when they write these articles, their standard of what success is is simply this, excuse me, graduate for four years, you know, go to school for four years, graduate, and then right out of school, you get a good job that pays, you know, fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year, high in demand. You're not, you're not going to have a lot of trouble getting a job. You'll get a good job, pays really well right in the beginning, right from the start. You get to pay off your student loans in, in, you know, a year, two years, three years, whatever. And you move out of your parents' house, get married, have kids, buy a nice big flat screen TV, have a nice car, and have a nice life. And, you know, I just feel like that's a very safe 
an average lifestyle. And maybe that's a, it's a lifestyle that, you know, a lot of people, you know, gravitate towards. And, you know, it's fine. God bless them. I mean, I'm not going to judge people. I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to say anything. But, but that's the standard of success that these writers and the readers, frankly, most of the readers anyway, are probably looking towards. It's just safety. All right? And I got to be honest with you. You don't become an artist, you don't become a professional artist if safety is really your, your end goal, I guess. The, the, if you feel like you really want to just get a job and just have kids and have the American dream, which is, you know, frankly, own a house with the white picket fence and whatnot, you know, maybe that, it, that those articles are for you. I don't know. But... You know, that's never really been, for me anyway, that's never really been my goal. I mean, yeah, I want security, and frankly, i got to pay bills too. And i got, you know, you pay with money, plain and simple. And, you know, money might not make you happy. Poverty doesn't make you happy, and I'm aware of that, you know. I, I, I try to keep my feet on the ground here, you know, even as an artist. But, you know, I just decided a long time ago that, you know, the, 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 the achievement of success... It's not the avoidance of struggle. It's not avoiding things that could be painful. You understand? Um, the these standards of success that these articles, things like that, or these people who talk about, you know, useless majors, their standard of success is avoiding pain and struggle and failure. Frankly, and I really don't consider that a really great way to live your life. You know, because while you may never go through struggle you're not going to probably go through much in a way of, of achievement either, All right? Being an artist, like being a freelance artist is owning your own business. It, it, that's all it is. It's, own, it's business ownership. You know, you are, sell, you are a one-man company, a one-woman company, you know, providing your services to, uh, to other clients. You've got to go out there. You've got to find them, things like that. And, and th there's, there's a huge learning curve. I mean... People will say what they want about art schools not preparing students. You know what? It's too big of a broad of a topic, unless you want to keep there for them there for like 10 years. I don't know. But anyway, I'm not going to go into that. Point being is that the life of an artist, when you sign up, when you decide this is what I'm going to do, this is what the living I'm going to make, you have to understand that you are signing yourself up for a huge struggle. You know, people don't sign up to, to, to climb Mount Everest because it's comfortable. You know, the struggle, the challenge is why they sign up, all right? So you have to understand something. When you sign up to, to you decide you want to become an artist, you have to be willing to face a lot of struggle, a lot of adversity. There's going to be a lot of setbacks, things like that. The question is, is your dream big enough? Is your desire, your, you, your I must have it feeling big enough to overcome all of these struggles. Because struggle and failure, they're, they're not, struggle and failure are not the enemy of life and the enemy of happiness, honestly. Succumbing to struggle and failure, avoiding it, running from it, I believe that's much more, more of an enemy of failure. Struggle and failure are, they're, they're, they're what you need to overcome. They're kind of the proving ground, the trial by fire so for you to climb over so that you can prove, yes, this is what I want to do. It's life asking you, are you serious about this? Do you really want to do this? You know, and, and only those who really, really want to do it will, will do it. It will weed out those who aren't serious. So it's a proving ground. It's a great place for you to show, yeah, this is what I want. All right, and you can't stop me. And, and we always celebrate the, the the truly great achievers. I mean, who who do we all know? I mean, we 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 know like Amelia Earhart for what she did for women in aviation. We know, you know, the great achievers. You, the uh, Sochi Olympics are going on right now as of this recording. We celebrate those winners, Jackie Robinson, uh, who opened up, who broke down the race barriers uh, during in baseball. You know, so on and so forth. These people overcame adversity, right? So that's what you're signing up for as an artist. You have to, you're signing up for a life of struggle, adversity, but also victory and success. Without the struggle, there is no victory or success. So again, 
what I'm getting at here is that a life of an artist is one of struggle but also of victory. And those news articles that you read about, they are about avoiding the struggle and unfortunately never really achieving the success either. So, but people don't know that. So, these are my thoughts, all right? And uh, feel free to comment. Um, this is not for everyone, but these are my thoughts. So, anyway, appreciate you guys listening. And, uh, yeah, this is Pia signing off. All right, take care.